one more fly for you today. I am going to be tying another leech. Now keep in mind these are for the fall time with a gold tungsten bead. It is an eighth inch bead. I think this one might be a little bigger than an eighth inch, but it is a 316th inch bead, which is a little bigger than an eighth inch. So I'm gonna see if I can find one in a copper instead of a gold. I got these copper beads. I think this one right here. It's my eighth inch bead. Slide that on there on the hook. Then I'm going to use my black uh, 6 aught string. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to use this other so smaller black string. Since I don't know where my other black string went. So I'm going to use this smaller string. It all works. Except this is not as strong as the uh, 6 aught. This is 8 aught. Or aught's 8 the small string. This is for your small flies. Like your uh, this is small enough for your uh, scuds is what it's for. But I'm just showing you a demonstration on how to tie the fly. Um, so I probably won't use it. Now this one has a marabou tail so I'm going to pull some fibers off for the tail they got to be as long as the hook shank tie my string back tie the tail in Give it a little extra body. I'm going to tie this marabou tail up forward. It's not as bushy as I would like because when marabou gets wet, it kind of lays flat. So I want it to flow in the water. So I'm going to add a little bit more marabou on in there. So. That way it looks a little better. Tie all that down. Now this has some flashaboo in it. That we're going to be using. Just get one strand of flashaboo and you want two pieces on each side. So what you want to do is tie in your flashaboo same length as your marabou. right on the side of it. You can use a pinch wrap to get it over there. Now I looped this so when you loop it you're going to have to cut the loop to make the two on there. Now just bend over the flasher boo to the other side. Now you want to make sure it lays flat on the side of the flasher boo or of the marabou. Just like so. Trim your pieces. So that way you got two on each side. Now, I'm going to use this root beer colored flash here. It's a uh, 
flesh chenille. It's root beer colored. You can use peacock colored. Uh, whatever you like. But to build up the body a little more, I am going to tie it in at the head of it. And work my way back. And then I'm going to wrap it forward. I'm not going to tie it in too tightly because this is some fluffy stuff. And then I'm going to trim the uh, marabou a little bit. Or not the marabou, but the, uh, the chenille. I'm going to trim it down to make the body a little less bulky looking because leeches are kind of slender, not so fluffy. And then, whip finish. One, two, three. That's about all you need. <clears throat> Tie it down. Trim the string. And now, I'm going to trim this down a little. get my settings right here I'll be able to use my uh, rotary vise the right way if I can get it set right there we go all right now we're business trim this up a little bit Like so. Now these uh, leeches, they uh, come out in the late fall when it starts to get cold. And so do the scuds and shrimp. You know, when the scuds and shrimp come out, they stay in the vegetation. So whenever you're working these leeches you can go into the vegetation with them or you can go out in the open a little bit leeches really don't go out in the open too much so uh, and they also don't swim around so much so what you want to do is work them somewhat on the bottom and just bounce them a little bit or pull them you can use them about a foot off the water or you know however you want to work them if you work them better than me work them better than me but uh, that's how you make that. So this is a uh, Las Vegas leech, just in my pattern. So there you go. Thanks for watching.